Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today as we spend these few moments with Jesus, our Good Shepherd. Our reading is from Isaiah chapter 49, reading verses 5 and 6. But now the Lord, who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to turn Jacob back to him, so that Israel might be gathered to him, so that I will be honored in the eyes of the Lord, because my God has been my strength. The Lord said, It is too small a thing that you should just be my servant to raise up only the tribes of Jacob and to restore the ones I have preserved in Israel. So I will appoint you to be a light for the nations, so that my salvation will be known to the end of the earth. Over and above service is a wonderful thing. When a co company bends over backwards for its customers, it makes for happy customers. When a company strives to go that extra mile in service to its customers, it makes faithful customers <laughs> and repeat customers too. In Isaiah 49, we are introduced to our over and above God, a God who bends over backwards to make his love known to not just a select group of people, but to everyone across the whole world. Now imagine a company, a store, giving a $10,000 shopping spree to a young man who was just caught stealing from that same store. Our God's loving service to us does just that. It makes that unlikely scenario a daily occurrence. Our sins are not only against our friends, our family, uh, but also against our God. And in that disobedience, God demands even better from us, so much more better. The God who created us and remains faithful to us didn't want to leave us in that situation. And so he bent over backwards for us. He sent his son into this world. His son was willing to go that extra mile by walking the paths of sin in our place. And as Isaiah says here, it's too small a thing for God to save only a select few. Our over and above God wants that message proclaimed to the very ends of the earth because Jesus is the atoning sacrifice, not only for our sins, but the sins of the whole world. God isn't satisfied with just doing a little. He is an overabundant God, an over and above God who loves to forgive, loves to show compassion, and loves when a sinner repents and trusts him for salvation. My friends, may we always praise our God who is over and above all that we can even imagine or even think to ask. We pray. Heavenly Father, you have loved me with an everlasting love. This love is something that we can't begin to fathom. We certainly have done nothing to earn this love. Thank you for sending Jesus to bring salvation to the ends of the earth. Help us to live in the light of your love. Help us to daily strive to be more loving to you and to those around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, my friends, have an enjoyable day as you walk with your God, who is over and above his love for you.